Welcome to the final episode in our saga, Spirit of Adventure vlog series. Morning, morning. Morning. It's very early. Paulie Morgan's been dragged out of bed at seven o'clock. It's still dark, look. If you can see it there. The sunrise isn't until 20 past eight. So the reason we're up early, what's on there? The reason we're up early, I was in my bed relaxing. But what we're now gonna do is get out of my lovely relaxing bed Go and lie down on another bed, but pay for the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose that is, is what that too black and white? <laughs> well, it is. Well, we're up to the spa. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, as you know, if you've seen our Iona vlogs, um, we had our first experience of the spa and we loved it. So we're off there now and we've treated ourselves. It's, they were doing a promotion, to be fair, weren't they? £30 yeah. pounds off. So we, we've treated ourselves. I'm going to have... Um, a facial and Paul's having uh, the stone therapy. Um, so you can see for all the prices on here, what they normally are £75 for 50 minutes and £79 for 50 minutes, which actually from bar from spa prices aren't that bad, are they? We've, well, on other cruise lines, I know you don't know. So, um, yeah, so we're off there now. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. As you can see, Paul is too. Yeah, so You've always go. wanted a hot stone yeah. massage, haven't you, Paul? I've always wanted a hot stone massage, but I didn't always want one if it meant me getting up at 7 in the morning. No. So I'm basically paying 49 <laughs> quick. As soon as I lie on that bed, You'll be I'm going to go to sleep. So well, we'll it's, see. it's like 49 quid for 50 minutes of sleep. <laughs> we'll see. You might not. It might be too hot. Oh, yeah, I never thought that. They might burn me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. They might burn me to keep me awake. We'll let you know when we get on. <laughs> So I've just had the most amazing facial with Alex. Um, absolutely lovely. Did drop off as well, but my skin feels amazing. And we're now in the spa. We've got a, a slot, and it's just I'm just waiting for Paul. He's uh, still having his hot stone massage. But look, this is the hydrotherapy pool here, which I'm sure we'll get it bubbling hot in a moment. And also we've got hot beds and just an area where we can just chill out. You've also got steam rooms and sauna. Some rules and regs that you can see here. And it's unmanned, so they make it quite clear that it's unmanned. But this is it here. And how we turn it on, I'm sure we'll find out. Despite having to get up at seven o'clock this morning, which I must admit I wasn't very happy with, I have to say now, two hours, three hours later, I'm very pleased with Carol's decision. <laughs> I've just had a lovely 75 minute hot stone massage, which is the first hot stone massage I've ever had. Mm. And it was amazing. <laughs> That's good then. So, yeah, it's, it's quite a, well, like, because I've never had one before, I didn't know what to expect, so I thought it was, because you see pictures where the stones are, like, placed on you, but it wasn't like that at all. There was, like, a, they had, like, a machine there that warms the stones up, and they were just, like, a sort of a big, smooth pebble, and she would actually hold them in her hands and massage you with them. Mm. So, yes, it was uh, apparently full of knots. Full of knots. Full of knots, which doesn't <laughs> surprise me, but... Uh, I'm now suitably, I wouldn't say not free, but certainly a lot less than yeah. I'm in there. And now I'm having a lovely life. He is, isn't it? It's incredibly uncomfortable looking bad, <laughs> but it's actually quite nice because it's heated. Yes, and the hot beds. So, uh, yeah, like I did, I showed you around earlier. This is Paul, just chilling out. You have to tell me when you get the power around, I just have to breathe in again. Yeah, <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> So they've also got a steam room here. 
which uh, nobody's in at the moment. But I don't want to look at that. Ooh, can't go in there really with the GoPro. But you can get from the neck. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to take that in. Well, they've got two types of saws. They've got an infrared saw there. Yeah. They've got an old school saw. So this is the old school Swedish sauna, I think they call them, don't they? Make sure there's nobody in there, which there isn't. So, oh my, well, that's hotter. Oof! I might melt the GoPro. Oh, that's too hot for me. I'm a woman of a certain age, um, and that's hurting my feet. It's so hot. Ooh. But that is boiling it. <laughs> Too hot for us. It's hot as hell. But if you're used to saunas and you like hot, <laughs> that's, uh, the that's the way to be. But this is for us, the infrared sauna. But yeah. It's two different kinds of heat. It is nice and warm, isn't it? But not too hot. They say you do the timer look for 15 minutes. Do the timer. 15 minutes, Turkish. We've loved our time in the spa, haven't we? After getting up early and Paul was a bit grumpy as normal. I was not. How dare We've had a lovely time, haven't we? Yes, we have. Yes. So I thoroughly recommend. It's complimentary. This is all included in your cruise fare, except, obviously, we had an extra. I had the facial, as you can see. Do I look like 20 years younger? Were you 75 <laughs> when we went in there? <laughs> oh, that's mean. Obviously, treatments are extra, products are extra, but use of the steam room, saunas, and hydrotherapy pool, and the hot beds that we've just been led yes. on for half an hour, I just snoozed, didn't we? It was lovely. Yes, lovely. yes. So I thoroughly recommend you trying out the spa on the spirit of adventure. So it's that time when we received disembarkation stuff in our cabin. And we're not happy about that, because we don't want to leave, do we, Paul? No. No. So, our private car is, um, transfer is obviously arranged home as well which is complimentary with the cruise fare and um, we've got to get off at 8 a.m. now that's early for us as you know um, but we understand they want to turn the cabins around and get the new people on um, but it's still sad to be up that early isn't it Paulie so um, what we've done is we've put we just prepare one of our cases because we've got a smaller one as well get it jam-packed full of all the stuff to take home and then it just needs to be put outside as it says on here by 8 p.m so um yes sad times isn't it paul <laughs> sad times. well it is we hate oh. leaving a cruise ship you've, you've done half sound like you really are oh it's sad times it is because we've loved our time on the spirit of adventure time. we are so you shouldn't be sad no, I should be grateful. You should be grateful. Uh, grateful yes. and thankful. You should be more like me, thankful and grateful and, and, and more humble. <laughs> oh, chirpy Paulie Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are in Cherbourg and it's our last day on board and look at the weather, it's, it's misty. Um, we're out on an excursion, but I don't know if we're going to be able to see a lot. We're off to Utah Beach and to the War Memorial. Um, it's stopped raining there, but it just looks misty. Drizzle, you can feel the drizzle. Um, so, anyway, we booked it, we paid for it. This wasn't an included excursion. We had paid extra for this one because we wanted to just um, go there and pay our respects, isn't it, Paulie? Right. Yes. Um, but as a sweet guest, because I, I don't know whether Carol's mentioned in there or not, that we're staying in a suite. <laughs> just a few times. And um, you get 10% discount on excursions. Oh, okay. Uh, didn't know that, did you? No. Uh, just remember that. If you want some information, just see Paulie Morgan. Come and speak to Paulie Morgan. He'll he, <laughs> he put you right. Yeah. Oh, dear. Right. So um, we've got to get down. What time's now? Um, what time now? It's four minutes to one. We've got to be there for quarter past. Yes. Yeah, so we've got to go down to, I believe, the um, living room. Is it Paulie? I don't we don't know where we've got to go so I let's just find out i've literally just given you a piece of information you can't expect two pieces no, of information that's on true. the truck can you so we'll go and find where we need to be and we'll um yes go to utah beach yes we've had such a busy day haven't we we have we've squeezed so much in we have but we had uh, we did a fantastic excursion to utah beach which is one of the sites of the d-day landings yeah and, and this is how we got on the first leg of our excursion took us to Utah Beach. This is around 33 miles away and took approximately 45 minutes by coach. 
Utah Beach is one of the five areas used for the Normandy landings during the Second World War on June the 6th, 1944. Places like Utah Beach serve as a stark reminder of the futility of war. 21,000 troops landed on Utah Beach that day from the 4th Infantry Division. There was a loss of life of 197. The port of Cherbourg was eventually captured on June the 26th, but unfortunately by this time the German forces had already destroyed all the port facilities. If we allow ourselves to forget events like this, those who lost their lives would have done so in vain. After leaving Utah Beach we took a 15 minute coach ride to the Airborne Museum at saint mer Eglise. The Airborne Museum is a French museum dedicated to the memory of the paratroopers of the 82nd and 101st Airborne Divisions of the United States Army. They parachuted into Normandy on the night of the 5th and 6th of June 1944. The museum really gives you an insight on what the soldiers faced on that fateful night and even contains some original artefacts from that day. Opposite the museum is the church of St. Mare Eglise. On closer inspection of the church, you'll see a man hanging from the church spire on a parachute. This is actually a recreation of events that took place on June the 6th when Private John Steele parachuted into San Mare Eglise and got snagged on the church spire. Private Steele played dead for hours dangling limply atop of the church until the Germans realised he was alive and cut him down and captured him. Fortunately, he later escaped and rejoined his unit. This story was told in the 1962 epic war film, The Longest Day. After a really interesting and educational day out, we headed back to the ship. Right then, so, our last night on board? <laughs> We're sad to be leaving though, aren't we? What a face that was, eh? <laughs> I mean, my, face, my face looks bad now because I put some. Mo I had a shave earlier and I put some moisturiser on, and either the soap I used to shave with or the moisturiser didn't agree with it, and it looks like looks like a flambe me face. <laughs> <laughs> You've got sensitive skin, aren't you? Wendy? Ow! No, oh. it is dirt. I've been using it all the time, no problem. Mm, yeah, your skin's like leather, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, last night on board, we are um, off to the supper club. Um, we. Tried to get a reservation there, but we were over our quota of, of speciality restaurants because staying in a suite, we can have two in a week. Um, but we thought, well, we'll ask, because if yeah. you don't ask, you don't get. And so, so what they... I did, I pulled a few strings, made a few calls. You didn't? They told me that we'd already hit our quota. <laughs> yeah. And if there was any cancellations, they'd let us know. <laughs> and obviously someone's cancelled. Yes. So um, so that's brilliant. So we're off there because John has spotted there was French onion soup and that's his favourite. Your favorite dad is very favourite. So. so that's really good news. So we're going to go in there in what, 15, 20 minutes? And then we are very excited because Emily Haig is back in the theatre, the soprano that was on the other night that I went to see, and the boys didn't. So the boys are all coming tonight because I've told them how wonderful she is. She better be good after you've built her up. She is. And, we and, actually... plus, and plus the fact we had a drink with her a couple of times. We nights. did, we met her. She's lovely. Yeah. Um, yeah, we had the pleasure of meeting her, which was really nice. Yeah. So I bumped into her in the Britannia Lounge. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, so that's our night. And then we'll decide, well, sensible head, We've got to be up at half past six in the morning because we've got to do our, um, at this time, and I don't know how it's going to be when our Saga video is going out, but Saga are very, very helpful and very organised. They've been superb. And we're all being tested with a saliva test, of course, with all the instructions before we get off and they'll take them away so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So it's great. So when we get off in yeah. the morning, we'll do this test and then we're done. And they will Well, we have the, to do yeah. this before seven yeah. because yeah. Um, our steward's coming to pick it up and then uh, we have to be out of the cabin at eight because then our private transfer home's waiting yeah. for us. So I think we need to spit breakfast off. Yeah, and the good news <laughs> is because I haven't got to drive in the morning. Yes. I? I don't have to worry too much about it having an early night which would be nice because in all of our cruises that we've done out of Southampton apart from one I've always driven 
Yeah, yeah. so that's a real bonus, isn't it, with yeah. Saga? It's just a shame I don't go on a cruise with anybody who can drive. <laughs> anyway, we digress. We're going out now and we'll let you know how we get on. So, we're in the supper club, aren't we? I'm being entertained by two lovely ladies, you can see the background. And here's the menu for tonight. So for starters, the reason we've come here is because of this fella here, isn't it, John? French oh, yeah. onion soup. And as we, onion soup. Yeah, and as we explained before, we've been lucky to get in with the cancellation, that's great. But you can see it's another good selection of food and all stuff we've not seen on any other menus, is it, Paul? That Well, I've seen. So, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to go with John with the onion soup and maybe the lamb loin. What about you, Paul? I was looking at haggis wellington. So, the start have arrived. The French onion soup looks delicious. John's already dived in. Is it good? That's good. <laughs> and Paul's prawn cocktail. Look at that bad boy. OMG. Quite impressed, Paulie. I might take that with me as I go around the Rooms. Different, different rooms tonight. You know, just eat one and get to the next place. Or just eat it all now. Or throw one suddenly across the room like the Blues Brothers. <laughs> 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 so we've all gone for the lamb loin, haven't we? That looks delicious, doesn't it, Paulie? Mm. Mm. And mint sauce. Yes. <laughs> mm. It's lamb and haggis. Haggis, yeah. So my pear and toffee jelly has come out and Paul's gone to chocolate heaven, haven't you Paul? I have. Mm. If you want to share some with me any, you're more than welcome. There you go. Well, thank you for the blueberry. <laughs> He's generous, isn't he? So chocolatey. Is it? Mm. So, verdict to the supper club? Yeah. Really nice, great food again. We can't fault food, can we? The French onion soup was just to die for. Um, your prawns were amazing, and the lamb was ace, and this has been great. So, we've just had a fab meal at the supper club, and just fancy a bit of fresh air. But look at this promenade this is a full wraparound promenade on, uh, on Saga Spirit of Adventure. If you want to see us um, walk the whole lap, then um, I'm just Go back to our previous vlogs because we take you right round the uh, right round the promenade. We're on our way to Southampton. Sadly, we get off tomorrow and we are not ready, not ready at all. On deck six, you'll find the Playhouse Theatre. There are 444 seats, and this is where we headed to get the second performance from Emily Haig. As you'll know from a previous episode, I missed Emily's first performance, but after Carol told me how good she was, there was no way I was going to miss the second. Emily's performance really was spectacular, singing anything from pop to opera with ease. If you do get the chance to see Emily Haig perform, we would thoroughly recommend it. En route to the Britannia Lounge to meet my dad and brother, we bumped into Opportunity Knox record breaker Bernie Flint. As you'll know from our previous episodes, Bernie had already performed twice on the ship and he was more than happy to stop and have a chat to us. Bernie chatted about everything from all the big name celebrities he'd performed with over the years to his newfound love of caravanning. He really is a top bloke. The night was finished off in style with the Britannia House Band putting on another great show, but the icing on the cake was definitely when Bernie Flint popped up and had a beer and a chat to my dad, and then I got to sing with the amazing Emily Haig. I had this perfect dream Once when you're one for you This dream was me and you Now my dream is slowly coming true. Right then. Right then. So we're up early to get off the Spirit Adventure, which is very sad. 
Well, he was up already three times because wow. Carol, I'm not casting aspersions on her wine intake last night, but she was a little fuzzy and she, because of the change of time coming back from France to here, we actually had an extra hour in bed, but Carol couldn't work out what that really meant. So she set the alarm and we got up an hour earlier than we needed to <laughs> until I checked my phone. And, we back and I've never seen anybody get back in bed as uh, quick as when I said, mate, you realise anyway. that it's only stupid o'clock. Anyway, we're back in Southampton. Uh, we're just about to leave our suite. Um, I don't know if she mentioned. I uh, know. So we've got to go downstairs for eight o'clock and to go to our private transfer. So we just want to say we've had a fabulous time with Saga Spirit of um, Adventure. It's been, um, well, excellent. The only thing we would change, because we were thinking, what what can we, what is there that we haven't enjoyed is the seats in the Britannia. Yeah, they've got some, a hole in the back. Well, some some have got holes in the back, and then you've got big pillows. They must have had like a job lot on pillows or something, you know, buy one get like <laughs> a, fa three. a thousand free or something, and you sit back and immediately the pillow falls out yeah. of the hole in the back of the chair, and then you just see that. The last person to get their first seat, he can't sit on it because there's like 19 pillows on it because <laughs> no. everybody else had discarded them. But somebody said to us, oh, you must have had a free cruise because you're saying so many positive things. So some of the chairs are rubbish. And if I have to be really fussy, the tissues in our room are a little bit thin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we haven't had a free cruise. We've paid for it, haven't yeah. we? People just presume. Um, um, but out of 29 cruises, we've only ever had two two fr free nights, haven't we? Two free nights out of but 29 anyway. cruises, Jess. Yes. We've had a wonderful time on the um, Spirit of Adventure and we will definitely be um, cruising with Saga again. Yes. We've been very, very impressed. So um, that's a wrap. So I hope you've enjoyed the vlog series. Um, there's lots more um, cruises we're going on, isn't there? Lots more vlog series coming and uh, that's it. That's it. So thanks ever so much for, for following us and... Um, I'm putting up with us. I'm putting up with us. <laughs> so why don't you watch one of these videos next? <laughs>